please. <laughs> This morning's Mass will be offered for Roland Kratzer, and today we celebrate our patron saint, Saint Elizabeth of Hungary. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness for he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you bring us hope for better days to come. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring healing to the sick and the suffering. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose gift St. Elizabeth of Hungary recognized and revered Christ in the poor, grant to her intercession that we may serve with unfailing charity the needy and those afflicted. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, we know that we have passed from death to life because we love our brothers. Whoever does not love remains in death. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that anyone who is a murderer does not have eternal life remaining in him. The way we came to know love was that he laid down his life for us, so we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. If someone who has worldly means see brother in need and refuses him compassion, how can the love of God remain in him? Children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. <clears throat> Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. I will bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is, Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. I will bless the Lord at all times. Hallelujah, hallelujah, 
to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear, I say, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you, and bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you. And from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and give back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them, and lend expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High. For He Himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as also your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> when it comes to celebrating the feast day of a saint, the Church gives preference to those saints who are extra special, and they will be of obligation for a priest to celebrate that <coughs> saint. Others are optional, and others, well, but sad to say, they would only be nominally mentioned. But regardless, today is a very important day for St. Elizabeth of Hungary because it's her feast day. She lived back in the 13th century. She came from a noble family, and at age Four, if you can imagine, way back then, parents decided who their spouse would be. And so they chose the son of a, a family, a wealthy family, in a place called Thuringia. That boy was only nine years old. And so they grew up and when Elizabeth reached the age of 14, she was married, and happily married. They had three children. He was a noble prince, and they had three wonderful children. Her, her husband went to fight in the Crusades to win back the Holy Land. And Sad to say, he, he was killed. She was left a will. She lived in the palace, and unfortunately she was badly, badly mistreated by her in-laws. They resented highly the fact that she gave generously to the poor. Every day, she and her servants would go to the gates and distribute food to the poor. And so she was loved very much by the poor people. But her in-laws, again, resented her highly. And 
while her husband was away, they evicted her from the palace. In the middle of the night, only with her clothes on, and she had a newborn baby that she carried with her, and they sought refuge in a, not a pig sty, but in a pig shed. But she accepted that because she loved God and she loved the poor. But when the friends of her husband returned from the Crusades, they demanded that she be allowed to live in the palace again. And after all, she was going to be the queen mother of her son, who would become the, <coughs> the king of Hungary. Her in-laws just tolerated her. But eventually, she was won over to their side, and they respected her at least. But then she decided that being a third order Franciscan, she wanted to do religious work. And so with her monies that she had left over, she founded schools and hospitals for the poor, and she ended up spending the rest of her life working as a common laborer in, in the uh, hospital of St. Francis. And again, the people acknowledged the fact that she truly was a saint. And at the age 24, she died. And four years later, she was claimed as a saint. Later on, sainthood didn't come easily because there was a series of investigations and there were, had, they expected miracles and because of the intercession of the Holy One. And so at any rate, the fact that she was declared a saint by the people showed that love conquers all. And she knew and loved the poor and gave of herself and everything she had. Now if you'll stand please, we'll have our general intercessions. <laughs> and so God granted the beauty of heaven and earth with confidence in the saving power. Let us offer our prayers this day. For the pilgrim church on earth, may God grant us the grace to live in readiness and, and strive to save our lives by losing them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For public authorities, may the light of Christ illumine their decision making and their efforts to respect the dignity of life come from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who thirst for light in situations of great darkness, may God's love and lead them to everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this family of faith, may God's love grow in our hearts and help us extend our hands to those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us in faith, especially Roland Kratzer, for whom the Mass is offered, for those whose names are on the altar for the month of November, for our own deceased loved ones and all of our parishioners, welcome them into the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own special intentions, which we now mention in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Almighty Father, you know all things. Please hear and answer these prayers according to your wisdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. 
by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of your own hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. <clears throat> Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept your sacrifice at your hands, for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May these offerings of our service Placed upon your altar in commemoration of Saint Elizabeth of Hungary, be acceptable to you, O Lord, and grant that, released from earthly attachments, we may have our riches in you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim you. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, <coughs> to this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Alfred, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Roland Kratzer, for whom this Mass is offered. <coughs> Remember all whose names are on the altar and our own deceased loved ones and parishioners and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Elizabeth of Hungary and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And Amen. with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy of the shedding under my roof, but I will say the word in my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. <laughs> By the power of the sacrament, Lord, lead us always in your love and through the example of St. Elizabeth of Hungary and bring to fulfillment the good work you have begun in us until the day of Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Say, Michael, we are an angel, and defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him when we don't have to pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a good day. Thank you too, Father.